Hi folks, it's good to be with you. <clears throat> Just giving you, <clears throat> excuse me, a little sermon uh, called The Wise and Foolish Virgins. It's good to be with you. My name's Jason. Uh, my website's jasonburnspreacher.com, jasonburnspreacher.com. And I uh, hope you are okay today. Let's come before the Lord. Father God, we thank you for this day. And Father, I pray that you bless my brothers and sisters and those who hear your words today. May they know your love. May they know your grace, Lord, in your name. Amen. If you'd like to turn to Matthew chapter 25. Matthew 25. It says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Matthew 25, verse 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took, took, took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels, in their lamps. While the bridegroom, uh, bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, and behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. While they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut afterwards came also the other virgin saying lord lord open to us but he answered and said verily i say unto you i know you not watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the son of man cometh i just pray again dear god i'm tired and feeling weak lord but I pray, Lord, for your glory, that these words would be a blessing to us and would be fed through your word by the power of your Holy Spirit to our hearts. Bless, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> There's an old hymn, The King shall come when morning dawns and light triumphant breaks when beauty gilds the eastern hills and life to joy awakes he who was born a little child to suffer and to die shall come with glory like the sun the lights the morning sky our lord is coming back and many today say that he isn't there are many many people that think that jesus is not coming back but the word of god quite clearly says that he is in Daniel chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, it says, In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man coming with clouds of heaven. He approached the ancient of days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, sovereign power. All peoples, nations, and men, and every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Now, brothers, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Matthew 24, 42 to 44. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known what time of night that which was coming he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into so you also must be ready because the son of man will come at an hour when you do not expect him and 2 peter chapter 3 verse 10 but the day of the lord will come like a thief the heavens will disappear with a roar and the elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything in it will be laid blame laid bare The Bible teaches that the Lord could come back at any time. So the question is, are we ready? 
The parable of the ten virgins is to encourage us to think of the end times that Christ could come back at any time. Matthew 25, 11. Later the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Are we ready? Are we ready for Christ coming back? J.C. Ryle says, I believe the ten virgins represent the two great classes in which compass the visible church of Christ. The converted and the unconverted, the false professor and the hypocrite, says Ryle. When comes Christ comes back, we don't know the exact date, so must be on the alert. A young man once said to a Christian minister, he said, I can't wait for Christ to come back. And the Christian minister said, oh, I, I don't want him to come back yet. I'm enjoying myself. How wrong that minister was. Matthew 25, verse 5, the bridegroom, bridegroom was a long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. That minister had fallen asleep. Have you fallen asleep? Have you become worldly minded? Luke 21, 36, be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Are you awake? Are you awake? Or have you fallen asleep? Are you worldly minded? Are you enjoying this world so much that you're not looking to the Lord that he may come back at any time? Secondly, when Christ comes, he will find unconverted and converted in the visible church. When Christ comes, he will find unconverted and converted in the visible church. The Polish Mafia in the UK have cornered the market in replicating your credit card. They're very good at making mimicking of the real thing, showing they're very good at, uh, at duplicating your credit card as, as if it's your credit card, but it's a made-up credit card. And there are many today who claim the name of Christ and pretend to be Christians, but they're not the real thing. Matthew 25, verse 4, it says, The foolish ones took their lamps, but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil jars along with their lamps. You see, there were foolish virgins who did not take any oil for their lamp. And that is a picture of foolish people who claim to be Christians, but don't have the oil of the Holy Spirit. They're not born again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Reverend Thorne says, only by the Holy Spirit will our lamps burn. John chapter 3 verse 5 says, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. No one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is what? Born of water and the Spirit. The oil in the ten virgins represents the Holy Spirit. Do you have the Holy Spirit today? Are you truly born again today? Are you a true born again believer today? Philippians 2.15 So that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault and crooked and depraved and depraved generation in which you shine as stars in the universe. Some people profess the name of Jesus. They say, I'm a Christian. I'm born again. But do you have the Holy Spirit? It's not about whether you say you are. But are you? Are you truly born again? Is the Spirit of God truly living in you? If it is, if the Spirit of God is working in you, then you'll be a changed person. Are you changed today? Are you real today? Or are you a fake? Because on the day of judgment, when Christ comes, your fakeness will be exposed. Matthew Chapter 15, verse 41, 42, the Son of Man will send out his angels and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Christ is coming to judge. And if we are fake, if we are pretending, if we are not real, 
He will purge us and send us to hell. So are we real today? J.C. Ryle says, at present, we must all be aware the vast majority of professing Christians care nothing at all about the return of Christ. They have no sense of sin. They have no love to Christ. They know nothing about being born again. Repentance and faith and grace and holiness, they are mere words to them. Is it all just words or are you real today? When Christ comes, friends and family cannot save you. Many people rest in other people for their salvation. My mom goes to church 